Good morning, Sierra Survival Adventure fans. Yes, we're on another adventure. Um, we la- left home. Pieces. Hang on at a minute. Roundabout, take the first exit. I left home this morning at six o'clock. We're travelling about two hours into the mountains, a place called Harakov and Korzhenov, um, to hopefully do some ski touring. Um, I've got the dog with me, got Coco with me, he's in the car here. We stopped on the way for a cheeky McDonald's. Hang on, where am I going? Straight, yeah. Exit the roundabout. So, uh, yeah, it was a cheeky McDonald's. Um, yeah, now it's got a bit light so I can use the, the video, obviously. Uh, so, what's the plan? Well, the plan is we're gonna go and find a campsite first. I've looked online and there seems to be one campsite that's open where we can park the van and hopefully get some electric for this evening so I can keep the heater on. Uh, obviously because it's up in the mountains and there's snow there. Uh, once we've located that, we're going to go uh, to a place, I think, round about Korzhenov. Now Korzhenov I've been to before with the school and it's the kind of terrain that I want. Uh, yes, it's hilly, mountainous, uh, but it's not too drastic. I mean, obviously, I don't want to kill myself, and I've only been back on skis for two weeks. So, um, in 400 meters, at the roundabout, take the third exit. Third exit. Um, yeah, so I don't want to kill myself. So the plan is, we're going to do uh, we're going to do some cross uh, cross country ski touring. Not on cross country skis. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I've got touring skis which enables me to walk up and walk down mountains, which is something that I really, really love doing. Bear with me, I've got a roundabout. Yeah, it's something that I really love doing. Uh, gets the fitness in there, and it also, I'm, I'm able to ski a little bit as well without actually damaging any part of my body, fingers crossed. Exit the roundabout. Exit the roundabout. So yeah, 300 we, sh- meters. we sh- at the roundabout, take the third exit. We should arrive at the campsite in about uh, 35 minutes. So uh, it's a nice gentle drive there, up through the hills. From where I'm looking right now, um, we've got snow. Uh, well, there's snow on the ground, so up in the hills it should be okay. Uh, where I live, the snow has actually gone. Uh, so, uh, in 500 meters, turn right. So fingers crossed, we're going to get some snow and uh, we're going to uh, have a great trip, hopefully. And uh, right, so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'll cut you off now and I'll catch up with you a little bit later because these roads are horrendous and I need to follow this GPS because I've no clue where I'm going. Okay, catch you in a bit. Well, that didn't take very long. We've uh, literally, from the last time I spoke to you, was about six minutes and we've already hit the snow line. So, uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Wah, let's go. Every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same 
way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? You don't know. Come on. This way. This way. This way. Go on, man. <laughs> he's going crazy. Coco is going ballistic. Come on, Coco. Good lad. Come on, then. This way. This way. Wow. Okay, so we've set off skiing. Coco's going absolutely blazinky, crazy, as you can see. Yeah, I don't know what. Coco, what are you doing? You're going crazy. Go on, then. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a trip about eight kilometers uh, over in the distance over there. There's a ski slope. So we're going to make our way around. There's a chapel here in front of us, just there. Up to the chapel, round the chapel. All the way around the back of the trees up to the top of the hill over there and then on the other side over there there's a ski slope that comes down brings us all the way down you can't really see the mountains because of the mist but brings us down the side of the mountain and then back to the car so that's the plan of today's trip should we go coco should we go yes come on then <laughs> he's mental okay catch you in a bit guys Hi again, right, so uh, I've come across one of these uh, bunkers uh, for those interested in wars and da 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 and this, that and the other we're actually really close to the Polish border up here and you see these bunkers all the way down the Polish border, the German border okay, so they're very very common in Czech Republic and they're all over the place obviously from this area up here there's, uh, you can see right down into the valley so it's a, a good strategic point for a bunker. But there you go. Coco's really interested as well. He wants to go in the door. Should we go inside? We're gonna go in. Should we have a look? Go on then. What's in there? Slowly, Coco, slowly. I'm on skis. Dude, stop pulling me. Ah! Okay. So it looks like the kids use this one for playing dens by the looks of it. It's full of trash. But uh, there you go. Coco, stop pulling me. Okay, so uh, so yeah, there we go. Onwards and upwards. Wow, well, we've uh, we've made it to the top of the first hill. Coco's been absolutely fantastic. He's literally pulling me up there and turn you around. There you go, go on, Coco, good boy. And he's literally been pulling me all the way, which is fantastic. My only issue is, is when we start to go downhill and I locking my skis into my boots is that he's going to go crazy running down the hill and we're going to crash but we'll cross that path when we get to it we'll try and do it nice and slow i think just over in the center over there i don't even you make it out but there's a there's a chairlift the top of a chairlift so when we get there i'll uh, turn the camera back on but this is absolutely beautiful you can see the the path we've come down here sorry down that one there yeah, I'm making my own tracks, as usual. So we're now at the top of the chairlift, here it is. Here's the very, very top. And just to prove it, it's not working today. And me and Kokichko walked up the hill. Yes. Right, we're going to traverse around the back of these trees. Because around the back of here, there's a, a pension. Or like a guest house type thing. And I stayed there about five four five years ago four years ago with uh, with my students when they came up here and we did a survival course up there and they actually went they dug survival shelters and they were really really good really cool so if any of my students are watching this from my class 4 bpc from last year can you remember this yeah okay right so we're gonna crack on let's go koki should we go and find somewhere yes Go on then, goodbye. <laughs> Here we are, up in the mountains, and I've come across the old pension that we stayed at with my students 
been there a couple of times. Uh, so again, if any of my students are watching, for old time's sake, this is where we did the uh, survival shelters at the back of this place. Uh, I remember last time I was here, I couldn't even say the name, you know. Pension Shivagostya. Yeah, so uh, here it is. Wow, how's that for memories? My God. Looking great. It's not looking too open, although there is a light on. I don't know. Let's go see. <laughs> okay, so we've just stopped for a little while just to take on some energy. Yes, I'm, I'm still slimming, but I'm out doing exercise and I need some energy. And Coco needs a drink as well. So, But anyway, while we're here, I just thought that I would show you the uh, the bindings on my skis. Um, obviously, you've seen them when they're on my feet. But uh, I want to show you how they work and how they work in conjunction with the boot. Around. Here's the bear. Hello, bear. Hello, Coco. <laughs> okay, so looking at the boot itself, on the back of the boot, there's a little switch here. And on that switch, you can see at the top it says walk and at the bottom it says ski. And what you do is when you want to ski, you just flip that tab. Oops, you can't see that very well. Flip that tab down to ski mode and then pull it up and click it in for walking mode. On the skis themselves, um, at the minute I've got them in walking mode. So the binding, and we need to line that up properly. The binding there on the ski actually lifts up from the back of the ski so you can walk and with that on the back here there's a little catch and you can lift that up for different heights there you go for different size mountains at the minute i've got it right on the bottom one i don't need it i don't need it any higher so yeah that's just how the uh the bindings work on these skis and uh i love them uh on the bottom of the ski just flip it over we use skins now this is a, a mole skin so it's rough one way and smooth the other way so when we're it's clipped onto the back of the ski in the front of the ski obviously but uh, when we're skiing uphill we put these skins on and when we're skiing downhill we take them off and it's as simple as that it's a two minute job for all this fun what does coco think coco what do you think, eh? What do you think? You're loving the snow, you, aren't you? Eh? Aren't you? Right, so we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to have a bit of a snack. And then uh, we're going to crack on. All fun. Yay. So we're now all set up for winter camping. Uh, we've got a campsite for tonight. And as you can see, it is 100% winter camping. In fact, I'll turn you around so you can have sight. Yep, we're under, under a load of snow. Coco's making yellow snow. <laughs> and uh, I'm just uh, sorting the van out, ready for uh, a bit of a rest. And then we're gonna, me and Coco are gonna go for a long walk later. Yes, we're going for a walk, Cocky. Yeah, so uh, all excited. I've got electric plugged in. I've got the uh, the heater on. I'm gonna put the covers up at the windows, so everything is nice and toasty in the van. Awesome. Check it out, dude. The skis are up there. Look. Oh. Campsite's really cool, actually right in the mountains literally right in the mountains and if i've got a photograph i'll throw it in but just about um about two kilometers in that direction there's two massive ski slopes i don't know if you can actually see them from here let's have a look i always like to tell you when i'm flipping you around so you don't go dizzy uh, I don't think you can see it from here. There's loads of caravans here. Obviously, there's not many people here. Uh, there's one van there from the Netherlands. Uh, lots of Czech vans that obviously they keep them here and come here in the summer. 
but uh, there's not many lunatics that are winter camping. Mm hmm. Only lunatics, adventure people, are winter camping. No, soy espanol, 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 and a little bit of English. Uh, yeah. To gelas, kokichku. To gelas. What are you doing? Right, should we get the van sorted? Right, we're going to do this. We're going to get the blinds up and everything else. So, uh, catch you in a bit. Obviously, as a very sensible person, I do not condone drink driving. But, when you're in a campsite, it's minus 20. I do condone drink walking. And I won't be driving anymore. So, here I have my little... Uh, flask all the way from Singapore that my friend Sam sent me and I'm going to be having a little shot of brandy because it's nearly Christmas no not for you Coco you can't drink that no 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 oh no okay bottoms up Mwah. okay I just want to take you through the uh, the winter camping setup um, obviously if you've watched the channel before, you've seen us set up in the summer. But for the winter, we're going to start with, I have got here an electric heater. Uh, that's plugged into the uh, campsite uh, mains. Uh, that will keep us nice and toasty all night. Uh, to keep that heat in, I've got um, thick uh, insulated window blinds all the way around the windows. Uh, and the back, I've got curtains, but also on the back, I've got an insulated pad on the back window, which uh, which keeps the which keeps the heat in as well. Uh, on top of that, the bed situation, we have a fantastic, really really thick fleece that's. Uh, it's got like a, well, it's a fleece lined, fleece lined on one side and it's ripply lined on the other side, but it's nice and fluffy. My friends, my really, really, really good friends from Spain bought me that. Thanks, Tim and Carolina. I love this bloody thing. It keeps me alive. Uh, underneath that, I've got my quilt with my camouflage cover. Underneath that, I've got a memory foam mattress. Underneath that, I've got another uh, fleece blanket under that which goes on the bottom of my back so there's no cold air coming up from the garage through the seat into my back uh, obviously the seats are cushioned uh, if you want to see how I did that then uh, obviously go to my rock and roll bed on the YouTube channel and you can have a look at that uh, underneath there's my gas cooker and everything else you've seen all that before most of you if you haven't go and have a look guys go and have a look at the van build um, pillars in the back which are blocking both ends of where the cupboards are so there's no cold air coming up from that I've got the uh, obviously uh, the uh, tablet up there for the television I've got my videos downloaded and the photographs of my girlfriends up there as well uh, yeah obviously the van's all insulated if you want to see that again on the van build see how I insulated the van but uh, yeah that's basically the winter setup um, it, it works really, really well. Now, bearing in mind, I've slept in this thing. Uh, well, not this van, the other van, exactly the same, but I slept in that without any heating at all and survived. No problem. You've got a thick enough quilt. And then when you wake up in the morning, you turn the bloody engine on. Okay. Yes. Get a diesel eater. Get a diesel eater. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? Uh... Getting a diesel eater in here is not a lot of space. It's all right if you've got some big bloody sprinter or something like that. But there's not a lot of space. I could try and fit it underneath the the uh, driver's seat. Uh, but then you've got to start drilling holes in the floor, which I'm not happy with. And then plug them in the tank, which I'm not happy with. And yeah, um, I, I'm still out on that one. I don't know about the diesel eater just yet. Uh, but as it stands at the minute... We can use the uh, we can use the electric heater, and that keeps us going. It keeps us pretty warm, actually. It's warm in here now, and even the bloody doors open. So, uh, so yeah, lovely and toasty. 
Right, I'm going to have a bit of a rest now. What time is it? The time is... Can't see. The time is... 13.47. Time for a little siesta. And then uh, me and Kokichko are going to go for another walk a little bit later on. And I'll take you into the local town, which is called Harakov. Right, catch you in a bit, guys. Bye. Good evening, everybody. Yes, it is only five o'clock in the evening. Coco's here wearing his nightlight. And uh, we decided to come out and do some night exploring. Why? Well, because we can. It's incredible. The weather's beautiful. We've uh, we literally camped. The campsite is literally, pff, I don't know, uh, 500 meters? No, a kilometer away from where we are now. And uh, we are exploring the ski slopes uh, at night, obviously. And uh, you see that little flashing light right down at the bottom? I believe that place there with the little umbrellas, if I can hold it still, with the little umbrellas. Well, I believe that, ladies and gentlemen, is a bar. So hopefully we can get in a sneaky little beer on the way. Yeah, but how beautiful is this? I mean, obviously this ski slope has been tranched today. You can see it, it's, it's been chopped up to hell. But uh, the snow cat is ready. If you don't know what a snow cat is, it's a, uh, it's a big massive machine that uh, cleans the pistes for the next day. The, the piste being the ski slope. Um, so yeah, um, without having a bit of an explore, a bit of a ski at night. Why? Because we can. Ha. Right, well I'll catch you a little bit later on if I do manage to get that beer. Good morning people. Well, since the last time you saw me having a beer, obviously we got back to the van and uh, watched the film. Very good, very no, it wasn't a very good film. It was a rubbish film. It was some animated thing. I don't know what the hell I downloaded, but it wasn't good. And, uh, yeah, we are... Uh, it's now the next morning. Coco's still in bed. There's Coco. Hello, Coco. Good morning. Coco's got his morning face. Say good morning. Say good morning. He's like, I'm not getting out of bed, Dad. I'm staying in bed. Yo, yo. So Coco's got his morning face. Uh, yeah, me too. So uh, we're going to prepare a coffee. Um, and then slowly get sorted. I was thinking about uh, skiing the, uh, the slopes around here this morning. But uh, my girlfriend today is actually... Um, she's supposed to be having a dog delivered and now it's a rescue dog uh, and there seems to be some problem with uh, delivering or whatever and so I just literally woke up and uh, so we're going to get sorted and we're going to go over to my girlfriend's house and find out what's happening and see if I can be of any assistance like a good partner should be but that's going to take a couple of hours I'm not going to get there for about well at least another three hours and the reason for that is uh, well I have to get sorted here get the van packed away and everything else obviously have my coffee and uh, and get over there which is which is two hours away from where we are so uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I um, I don't know if you can see what I'm using here. I'm actually using the uh, the AeroPress AeroPress Go, and this is a um, this is a uh, <laughs> I'm a bit lazy. It's an electronic coffee grinder. And the reason I'm using an electronic coffee grinder was because I was sick of doing that for 20 minutes. Doing the windy thing. Yes, I know it's lazy. I don't care. 
but uh, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, uh, I don't care. But this is so much easier. So, uh, so yeah. So. Well, stop. Okay, so that can go back in there. I ground my coffee obviously before I put the video on because you don't want the sound of grinding coffee in the morning, I would, I would imagine. Right, so that's that, that's that. Just turn my water on again. Um, obviously, I'm using jet oil. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah I'm using the, uh, the jet oil for the water, the AeroPress for the coffee. Nothing is going to happen until I've had my coffee, so I need to get sorted. It's cold outside, probably about minus five. It's still snowing, <laughs> but we've been nice and toasty in the van with the little heater that we've got on down there. That heater has been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm wearing my my Tron undersuit. Oh, my coffee, my water's boiled already. My Tron undersuit. If you don't know who Tron is, Google Tron, T-R-O-N. And um, and I've got the, the jacket and the, the pants, the trousers from Tron. But I wear these under my trousers and everything when I'm, uh, when I'm skiing and da, da, da. And I also use them sometimes, not today, but for pyjama gym jams, pyjamas, I don't know whatever you want to call them, there's so many names oh that's looking outstanding I'm just turning around just let that water go down a little bit let's just uh, tip you forward a little bit so you can see we're preparing this coffee so we put the water in the top There we go, that's that done. And then we get the plunger. We put the plunger on top. I know some of you have seen an aero press before, but, um, but uh, yeah, that's how it works and you push this down. I'm not gonna do it on this table because it's a uh, lever table and I don't want coffee all over me and all over the bed, so. Plunge, plunge, plunge. There we go, so all the way to the bottom. Yep. There we have it. Where's my cup? I don't see it. Okay. And then, uh, yes, I have sugar and. Sh yes, I have sugar and milk in my coffee. And everybody's like, oh my God, all you coffee. Oh, you can't put sugar and milk in coffee. Oh my God, it spoils the taste and da da da. That's just the way I like it. Because not everybody is the same. I like it with my sugar and my milk. So all you sugar and milk haters out there, well, good on you, well done, I'm proud of you. The problem is, I like it like this. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> nom nom nom. Okay guys, I'm um let me turn you back. I'm gonna uh, have my coffee, have a bit of breakfast, get cocoa sorted get the van sorted and then we'll head off on our way so um, if I don't see you later on if you've watched the video this far please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing I was looking on YouTube and 90% of the people watching the videos are not subscribing why I don't know is it this cute face you don't like is it this cute dog 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at his little face. Coco. Subscribe for Coco. There you go. Oi, look at the camera. Look at the camera. No, okay. Okay, yes. Like, subscribe, guys. Come on, please. It don't cost anything. Press that subscribe button. Catch you all later. Catch you soon in the next video. Uh, if I can, I'll do some uh, road out of here. Um, on B-roll. So, um, so you can see the area that I'm in. Okay? Take care. Have a nice Christmas, everybody. Be safe. Bye. Oh, no, I want to do the thing. Bye.